Hey, what's up guys? This is Paul from the SysAdmin channel and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to install SCCM version 1606 from SCCM version 2012. And we're starting right now. All right, so here I am in my SCCM server named pack-sccm01. I'm going to go ahead and open up SCCM 2012 and we'll go to the about so I can show you exactly which version we're on as you can see here i'm on system center 2012 uh, service pack 2. all right so we'll go ahead and close this and we'll go ahead and open up the control panel and we'll check exactly which version of windows aik we're running so we'll go ahead and uh, fire off programs and features and then next up we'll expand this just so we can see that um Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit is running at least Windows 10. Um, if you're running Windows 8.1, you're definitely going to need to uninstall that and then install the latest uh, AIK version that's available. Right now, I'm using version 1607, so since we're already good with the install, I'll proceed. So now that we've checked to see that we're running the latest version of uh, Assessment Deployment Toolkit, We'll go ahead and open up the SCCM 1606 folder and execute the splash.hta. All right, so once we got that fired off, we'll go ahead and click on the install to begin the installation. We'll accept the user account control. And here we're presented with the before you begin screen. This is just a reminder that uh, you must have a full version SQL, either SQL standard or SQL enterprise. Uh, your SQL server meets the minimum requirements. And if you want to read up on the release notes, go ahead and click on the release notes link. Um, since we are upgrading, everything is already set up, so we can just click next and continue with the installation. All right, since it is our goal to upgrade our configuration manager to the latest version, we will pick the obvious choice of upgrade the configuration manager site. We'll go ahead and click next to here. Next up, we're presented with a product key page. If you have a product key, now is the time to enter it in. Otherwise, click on the evaluation version and select next. We'll go ahead and accept all the end user license agreements and continue on. All right, next up is the prerequisite downloads. If this is your first time installing the 1606, go ahead and download it from the internet. Otherwise, in my case, I have the setups already downloaded to my computer. So I'll go ahead and point to that path and move on. We'll go ahead and wait for SCCM to verify the downloads. And once that's done, uh, we're presented with the opportunity to select the languages. In my case, I'm only using English, so um, we'll go ahead and proceed with English. I'm not going to need anything else at this point. Moving on is the diagnostic and usage data. This is basically letting you know that Microsoft collects uh, anonymous data and sends it over the Internet. Uh, if you want to read up on that, go ahead and click on the links. Otherwise, we'll continue to move forward. Next up is the service connection point setup. Uh, this is basically to allow SCCM to download future updates over the internet. And um, we'll go ahead and select the recommended option and we'll click next to that. All right, here we're confirming that the setup type is an upgrade. Uh, once we got that all settled out, we'll go ahead and continue on. All right, now it's gonna do one final prerequisite check before actually pulling the trigger. Uh, we can see here that I'm getting a couple warnings because I don't have WSUS as a site server and my SQL server only has 8 gigs of RAM. Go ahead and give that one last look and once we're ready, we'll go ahead and click the begin install. This is going to take anywhere from maybe 30 minutes to an hour depending on your speed and how many nodes you have in your organization. Uh, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and look at the config manager setup log and just make sure that everything is looking uh, the way it should be. Go ahead and close out of the logs once you're done looking at them. And uh, just keep note that when you do the upgrade, not everything is going to turn green. Uh, some of the stuff is not going to upgrade, so just keep that in mind. All right, now we'll go ahead and close out of the setup uh, manager and go back into our desktop. And then we'll go ahead and open up the SCCM console and then we'll verify that it is actually opening up fine after the upgrade. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the about settings and just verify that it is on version 1606. And it looks like it is. So everything looks successful and that's about it for today. 
All right, so just to recap, in this video, we went over upgrading SCCM 2012 to SCCM 1606. If you have any questions about the upgrade process or, you, or if there was something that I actually missed, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments section, and I'll do my best to get back to you uh, sooner than later. In the meantime, this is Paul from the Sysadmin channel, signing out.